Alright, so this is my uh, review of Nation X, 2 out of 4. Um, I love the cover, by the way. I mean, that's it really stands out. I really like, okay, the first story is, um, it's a Jubilee story. Now, I'm probably not the best person to be reviewing, like, what's going on in, like, the Marvel Universe right now. I mean, I just started reading Uncanny again, um, not too many issues ago. But, I mean, overall, like, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, this first story, Jubilee, awesome. I love the artwork. Um, let me just give you a little preview here. I don't want to put too much in there. And, I mean, the story was, you know, like, the Nation X, you know, one out of four story, I mean, uh, you know what I mean. But, it's two out of four, each one's like four stories long, I'm assuming, this, that's how it's been so far. Um, I'm, lo <clears throat> I'm loving them a lot. Um, it's basically, you know, what's going on on the side, like, with the whole utopia, because, you know, there's so many X-Men, I mean... It's, you know, like, kind of like background stories, like, because you can't, I mean, if they did, you know, what's going on in every single, um, Uncanny, I mean, it'd be like a book this big, and, and, I mean, so, like, you get some sad stories, because there's so many mutants, and, you know, you get some personal stories, and this is a great, great comic. If you haven't got the first one, get the first one, get this one, um, First story is a Jubilee story, and I don't want to give you too much, but, um, story two, what could that be? Um, let's see here, and there's a story with North Star, I love how it's, uh, drawn, like, this one's, like, really short and fun funny story, kind of, and, um, you know, North Star is, like, openly gay, so, like, if you have anything against gays, um, I don't know why you're reading X-Men, <laughs> X-Men's kind of, you know, about accepting people for who they are and stuff, so, not to get too political, or whatever, but, I mean, this one was a lot of fun, I mean, it feels like, you know, like an old little short little comic book, and, then, um, I, did I go over this one? I don't know. And then you got, the last one's a gamut story, which is pretty good. And, you know, so it's just, like, mostly, like, side stories. That's what this little sh series is. Um, so, like, if you're reading Uncanny, you can, you know, know what's going on with the rest of them. Um, I'm enjoying these a lot. I mean, I kind of wish, I mean, it, this probably won't happen, or something, but like, say, with Uncanny, I wish, like, after the main story is told, they would have, like, you know, some short stories to back it up, like in, you know, classic X-Men, where they take the story, and then they have some backstory, like, that was written afterwards, but, you know, like, I thought that was really cool when they did that back in the day, and, um, yeah, so what else can I say? Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm probably not the best to review, but definitely pick this up if you've been following on Canny and whatever. So it's a, it was a lot of fun, and I think that's about covers that. Like I said, I'm not the best person to um, cover what's going on during the X Men universe, but if you've been following it at all, um, definitely pick this up. I mean, I, ha I have, but I've, like, I just started again reading X-Men Uncanny, and I've missed a lot, but, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make do with what I know so far, and this is still kind of bring up to speed with what, like, what's going on with a lot of characters, and it's fun, pick it up, definitely.